Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we'll be going over about curve fitting. All right, let's get started. So curve fitting, uh, we have collected data always contains degree of error or imprecision. So that means uh, sometimes we have to deal with outliers and those outliers often make our graph look really, um, well, wrong, right? Um, we have to understand that those errors are, 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 will be included in our data set and what we want to do is minimize uh, those outliers affecting our predictions or graphs or uh, whichever. So curve fitting is used when we want to match an analytical model to a set of measurements uh, which may contain some errors. So we're going to smooth out those errors uh, to make our graph look nicer. Okay. So let's have a look how we can do that. So here's an example of, uh, say, a real measurements uh, with points uh, measured over, say, how many axes. Okay. So um, using these points, how can we estimate or model uh, the underlying relationship? Okay. So by inspection, we can say that okay, this is going to be like kind of a straight line. Uh, or with a negative relationship, okay, that is probably what we can estimate. But uh, in terms of um, programs, uh, it may not be clear what to do about it, right? So what we're going to do is apply uh, different types of regressions uh, to fit in uh, some model line to through that. So of course we're going to start with linear regression, okay? So one method of curve fitting is linear regression. Uh, basically, it minimizes the square of the errors when you draw the line uh, against each point. Okay? Uh, in, each, uh, in Excel, there's a function called slope, or uh, when you have like a scatter chart, you go into the options, and then you can add in those like uh, regression lines. And those are the options that you can do in Excel. Um, and we can do something similar uh, in Python. Okay? So note that linear regression is a special case of polynomial regression. Um, basically, um, it has an order of one uh, polynomial. Um, but your data may not reflect a linear relationship. So when that does happen, we will use a higher um, order of polynomial to do that. But we'll start with the linear for now. So this is uh, what it looks like. Um, let's have a look at our code and run it. Uh, get rid of this template. Okay, regression. Okay, so I have those um, imports uh, at the top, uh, but as you will know now, this is just a, a numpy and a plot. Okay, so we're going to uh, do the linear regression using this code. So here is our original point. Uh, these are our those blue dots, uh, presumably our real data. Um, and basically these are the x points starting from 0 up to 6 uh, at one interval, not including 6, right? So yep, that's what we have. Um, and here is um, the, well, basically this line and this line is where the linear regression happens. So firstly, we're going to do a polyfit of X points and Y points at uh, polynomial order one. So that is going to be our linear uh, polynomial. Okay. So this will generate points using X points and Y points. So this is going to be kind of like our function. Okay, and what we want to do is uh, create a value. Uh, this is going to be a lint space from 0 to 6 at interval, uh, not interval, uh, generating 10 points. So we have here, we have 6 points, well, but we here we're going to have 10 points. And uh, uh, we're going to use the polyval uh, method where we pass in those points. So this will have a bunch of points that create those lines and see where it maps using these x values. So this will create our y value. So this y value is our linear regression points using uh, our original data. Okay, And all we have to do is just plot it. 
So our original data is just a, a dot, whereas our uh, regression is going to be a straight line. So if we run that, we should get the same um, graph as we've seen here. Like this. Okay, so uh, the blue dots are our original points and orange line is the line that minimizes the error between those points when they are measured against this uh, orange line. Okay, so that's the linear regression. So as you can see, uh, linear is a first degree polynomial, so we just specify one here. Okay? As you increase this value, it's going to try to fit more um, points uh, using um, different curves. Okay, so let's uh, have a look at this uh, in more detail. Basically, we have um, six data points. Uh, that means uh, if we use a fifth order polynomial, this is going to give us a perfect fit because uh, it can, by using a fifth order polynomial, for six data points, we can always find uh, a line that's going to cross all of them. Okay, so what we're going to do is, uh, we can still use this. For example, we'll just change this into five. And run it. Ta -da! Okay, and this is what we roughly get. Um, but this is probably not very good because our lin space is not really going over where those points are. So in that sense, we should increase this, say, hundred. Now I want hundred points that uh, will uh, ensure that uh, this one of those points will cross over uh, this or uh, somewhere nearby. So if we do that, then we get a closer uh, line that goes over like this. So it's more smoother fit that actually crosses all those points as we suspected. Okay, so this uh, actually matters. Uh, so make sure that your estimate points, you have quite a lot of them. Okay. So if we map this, as we've seen before, uh, if we have uh, only 10 estimate points, it might not overlap with uh, where those blue points were originally plotted. So our x uh, values don't match. So you can improve this by just having more estimate values into our function, then it will show that it's going to go over um, more, uh, well, better, okay? So, Actually, in terms of regression, that's about it. Um, all you have to do is use the uh, polyfit or uh, where you specify the degree uh, passing your original points. This will give you uh, the best um, the curved line or straight line that minimizes the error and just map it onto your new set of X points and it's going to give you uh, those values for you. So we're going to stop here, hopefully regression fitting is straightforward, otherwise I will see you in the next video, bye bye!